Hello, my name is Rick Ludisher. I'm a professor in the food science department and an instructor in the summer short course. In that course, we take about five months of food science and condense it down to five days. I teach the courses in, in chemical principles and in protein chemistry, and I take about three months of material and condense it down to three hours. And what I'd like to do now is, is give you in about three minutes an example of what we try to do in this course. Emulsions are extremely important in the food industry. You've got gravies, you've got salad dressings, you've got sauces. The fundamental problem is that oil and water just do not mix. You can shake them up all you want, but as soon as you stop shaking, they separate. So you have to include a molecule, a surfactant molecule, with that oil and water to stabilize the emulsion that you generate. The problem is that, that the oil molecules are hydrophobic, they're nonpolar, they can't interact with polar water. So a surfactant molecule is a molecule that can interact with both the nonpolar phase, the oil phase, and the polar water phase. A perfect example of that is a fatty acid. Fatty acid has a carboxyl, a charged carboxyl group at one end, and a fatty acid tail at the other. The carboxyl group, the charged group, loves water. The fatty acid tail loves oil. And so by including fatty acids in your mix when you make the emulsion, those molecules will migrate to that interface and stabilize the interface by forming a little coating. And so what you have is now a, a, a shell around that emulsion droplet which stabilizes it and allows it to remain floating in the water. And so understanding how the structure of those molecules gives them both polar and nonpolar parts and understanding how they, that, that serves to, to form a coating for the oil droplet is an extremely important part of how structural chemistry has implications for understanding the properties of foods and manipulating the properties of foods. And so what we're trying to do in this summer short course is give you the fundamental scientific principles that allow you to make better foods.